Hi, my name is Matthew Boudreaux, and thank you for inviting me to speak today. I'll be talking to you about some recent T1 mapping related projects that have been led by our lab at Notopuddy. To start off, I wanted to let you know about some features available on QMR Lab, an open source software for quantitative MRI simulation and data analysis that we've developed. QMR Lab is currently available on MATLAB and Octave and has a graphical user interface as well as command line tools. We have over 20 quantitative MRI models available covering B0, B1, T1, diffusion, susceptibility, and magnetization transfer techniques. Of these, we have three T1 models available, so VFA or Despot1, Inversion Recovery, and MP2 Rage. If you're new to T1 mapping, I think this tool is really great not only to fit some existing data you might have, but also to explore how the methods work and how they react to different protocol parameters and T1 values. So if you're interested, uh, please check out our website or contact us directly. Next, I'd like to briefly mention some interactive tutorials we've developed that focused on T1 mapping. Here's a short demo of one of these web tutorials. So you can see there's a lot of explanations, equations, um, the figures are powered by Plotly, which make them interactive. You can also view the code that was used to generate each figure above the figures. If you want to modify the code and rerun the figures with different parameters, you can do so by clicking a Launch Binder button on top of the page, which will open a Jupyter Notebook session in a container so that you can execute the code from your browser, no installation required. Also note that all the code used to generate these figures were using QMR Lab. Additionally, these tutorials were turned into a book chapter for the book Quantitative Magnetic Resonance Imaging, which was published last year. Our tutorials provide an interactive version of this chapter, complete with all the code needed to reproduce the figures. If you have an interest in quantitative MRI, I definitely recommend you check out this book, as there's quite a lot of material containing both the fundamentals of each quantitative MRI uh, technique, as well as chapters surrounding the current applications of those techniques. Finally, I just wanted to briefly touch on the 2020 ISMRM Reproducibility Challenge, which I led and focused on T1 mapping. The challenge pitch for that year was the following. Will an imaging protocol independently implemented at multiple centers reliably measure what is considered one of the fundamental MR parameters, T1, using the most robust technique, inversion recovery, in a standardized phantom, the ISMRM NIST system phantom? Overall, we received 19 submissions containing a total of 41 datasets and 56 human uh, datasets. Shown here is a dashboard developed over the course of the challenge, which shows which sites acquired what type of data and on what scanner. This dashboard was developed by Aika Karakuzu, shown here, and is a really great tool to explore the datasets that were submitted. And so using this dashboard, you can explore some big picture stats, also, look at statistics by sphere, sites, and region. And so if you want to check out this uh, dashboard, the website is shown here. In addition, I've collected all the links related to our, uh, this challenge. And so all these submission details, code, notebooks are available on GitHub, and the datasets are available on OSF. One last thing I wanted to mention was the MRM Highlights Initiative which doesn't specifically touch on T1 mapping, but has it recently changed focus to highlight reproducible research. And so we have monthly Q and A's with authors that have published in MRM, and also have a second blog post that focuses on their reproducible re uh, research practices. And so please check us out. Um, we publish usually the last couple of weeks every month. And thank you very much. This is just a photo of my daughter at the beach a couple of weeks ago. Thanks.